Yo. So this video, we're going to be talking about Codex a little bit. Um, more importantly, I am going to be reviewing um, artifacts on champs. So we'll first we'll go look at my auto fight. Um, I am top 50. Um, first and foremost, I got to say this one really irks me. Um, this Codex boss is very, very weird as far as like you could change the littlest things and be off your score by like 50k. Um, I can't tell you how much tweaking I've done in here. <laughs> as far as like yesterday, I started out like my first run was 180. Um, I changed a few pieces of gear because like Hollow died really early in one of my runs. And it ended up making it worse, even though I made her tankier and had about like the same stats on everything else. So it's just really weird as far as how that stuff kind of works out. Um, this run, you'll see hollow goes down really early again <clears throat> and i'm not even gonna bother with it right now um i feel like if i do the same thing i did yesterday where i change it it could change the whole entire run again and i don't want to go through this whole debacle um i like my team right now how it's set up i'll probably just keep these guys in this gear for now like the main two people i wanted to switch up originally were madon and vortex but they kind of held their own this time which was great um, I just got to watch towards the end of the run, see if I'm missing, like, any um, treant placements, which I might be, um, or any ults, because this one survived a lot longer. I haven't actually watched the full run yet. So right now we're at 160, and this should be where Hollow goes down, yep. That uh, ult on Sadie was literally a second late. See right there, Elowen could have ulted. So let's go through and we'll pop, we'll stop it right there at that end part. And then we'll pop Elowen's ult and see if anything changes. And then we'll go look at my hero builds after this. Um, I do have Scarab on Elwyn, so she is literally getting her ult literally probably five seconds at most. Um, once you see this like ramp up after the stupid stage is done, you'll just see her flying through ults. But even here, it's quick without the rage region boost. But like once this thing, the boss fight actually starts running, like just watch our meter just go whoop full whoop full. Um, so if you have A5 L1 by chance, if you're one of those nasty whales that are just really lucky, um, Golden Scarab will be your friend here. Uh, you will get so many trees down, like the little treant guys. I think on A5, every time you pop ult, you get a treant to place, which is actually insane. Okay, so we said we'd stop it like right around like 180 ish. And then we'll go into 1x. Aelin's one I had really tough time building as well. Um, put her in HP. She wasn't dealing as good. And then I got her in healing effect and she was frying, but it was just trying to keep her alive was the issue. So we'll go into 1x, and then here we'll pop this ult. I'm not, like, a big fan on her. I can't see where I'm putting it. I might actually get Sadie down for this one. So let's go into her ult now. See, but like this one, we did way worse. We were at 197. I don't understand. <laughs> it's it's such a finicky boss. Like, obviously, Elowen's, like, uh, AoE healing isn't as effective as her single target. 
But I didn't know it made that much of a difference. Let's watch it one more run. And shake it out. <laughs> Let me know if you're using NVIG here as well. I don't have NVIG on a bunch of champs. I think it's on... Actually, it's my LON that I have NVIG on. But that's it. Everyone else is in like a Scalpius, Guardian, or like a mix set. Like Sadie's in just a mix set to farm Rage Regen as much as possible. Also, if you have Sadie's exclusive, use it in this. It is insane. Um, I had a guild member like doing 100k healing with Sadie, which is unheard of. Like mine's usually doing like 20 or 30. So that exclusive artifact for her is very, very good. Um... Obviously, the Euphoric Orbs are insane here. So if you have those, those are almost a must. See, let's watch here. So she goes down. We go into that. It's just timing then, really. Let's go here now. Because now we could pop that. Let's see if this changes anything. Oh, do we hit 200 here? Probably not. 198, that's my new high though. So it'll be just playing off this one next. So really good. Um, I'm really happy to be in the top 50, at least in any of these. Um, Conquer, I'm going to be tweaking with some more today. Should be pretty close to my guildmate now. Yeah, he's there. The fake me's there. And then I'm here. <laughs> We're so close. How close am I from Boomer? Ooh, now I'm chasing Boomer next. Um, so we go look at artifacts. Golden Scarabs, probably my number one for this. Um, you could just like stack really good HP stats in here. You could stack really good attack speed and not have to worry about the Rage Regen at all. It could pretty much all come from this Scarab, which is a huge bonus to do like with any builds. So um, I would probably put Golden at number one. And then right behind that, Euphoric Orb, just too good. Um, the attack speed is pretty big for the attacks. I'm assuming as far as healing as well like I know I'm like my Medan is pretty slow in healing so to get her boosted a bit is nice um and then like between Elysian and the Taya's Balm it really just depends what you're healing with like Vortex single target healing I'm gonna end up using Epitaph um uh, she is AoE, so I use Taya's Bomb. That's just kind of how those go. Um, so it, if you're just throwing these on randomly, look where you're putting them. Um, could help you guys a bit out. I think, I, yeah, have Euphoric on her as well. But yeah, um, just a short one today. Kind of want to show the Codex. It's really my first update video since this Codex started. Um, I'll probably send out another one later today. Um, testing out... The Claw Man. I just got him today as well. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Um, let me know how your codex is going. Let me know if you guys want like uh, guides or anything for any of the codex. Like, I'm not doing great in any of these. Like, my teams are pretty free to play. 
um, for this and this one. Um, I literally ran this one once and I haven't messed with it since. But yeah, um, I'm going to run some Conqueror today, test out the new champs. And yeah, that'll do it for this one, guys. Um, comment below, like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.